When we started the Blue Society, someone, and I'm not sure who it was, it might have been John Lennon, came up with the idea that we should have a Hall of Fame. So we put together our first Hall of Fame class in 2008, I think it was. And it consisted of Robert Lockwood, who was pretty obvious. Okay, so my husband Mr. Stress, Bill uh, Moore. Cow Cow Davenport, who lived in the second half of his life and died in two of his was very, uh, very, very big for it. And Bull Moose Jackson, who was born and raised here in the and, uh, what's that? He wants to turn the reverb on. Oh, is that better? My driver? Oh, yeah, I think you got it. Okay. So over the we've had four classes so far, and have, we have three of our Hall of Fame members here today, currently. And they hopefully will be getting up and playing some music. Here are Lars Cohen, Crazy Martin, and Travis Harris. We did ask the other two living members of the Hall of Fame, Gene Schwartz and uh, Jimmy Lay, but they're both out of town. So I'd like to begin by inducting the one person that I'm guessing most of you have never heard of. And that is the person who's music and what are you playing here? His photograph is in the book. His name was Montana Taylor. He was really born in Montana. His family moved to Chicago when he was a kid. I wish I could make this one. Our AV skills are not optimal. Anyway, he moved to uh, Chicago and then to in Indianapolis, where he became a sought-after accompanist piano player in the 1920s to a lot of the classic blues singers. In the 30s, he moved to Cleveland. He gave up music to play sporadically and was eventually rediscovered in the 40s by a collector and promoter named Rudy Blesch, who took uh, Montana and made a number of new recordings with him, including some transcriptions for radio, which you can hear on YouTube. In 1956, Montana Taylor participated in a now kind of famous concert that was held downtown at the Cleveland Public Library. It was called The Roots of Jazz and featured Montana Taylor and Cow Cow Davenport who were both living here in Cleveland. Two years later, Montana was dead, but in recent years, he's been kind of rediscovered in Europe. And he's, he's kind of a cult figure amongst European blues and jazz musicians. So Montana Taylor, most of us never got to see you and never got to hear you and never got to know you, but uh, you are now, wherever you are, a member of the Cleveland Blues Hall of Fame. So let's hear it for Montana Taylor. 